everyone, it's me, Alex, and everyone's favourite bird, Archie. Everyone asks me on Instagram, how do you take a good photo? I get asked this every day, 10, 20 times in my DMs. People are like, how are you taking these pictures? How? Like it's some sort of witchcraft. It's not, guys. I mean, yes, I do have a fancy camera, but I don't take all my photos with a fancy camera. I take a lot of my photos with my mobile phone. <laughs> What do you do with you, he says Archie. So I use my phone for a lot of my photos and today I'm just gonna show you some quick and easy tips on how to take an Instagram photo from drab to fab. <laughs> Making this video has made me realize that I am in desperate need of a vlogging camera because it is very, very, very difficult holding up five kilos on a little tiny stick. It is very hard and very heavy and I'm quaking and I'm shaking and I hate it. I must apologize in advance for the state of my bedroom. It is an absolute pigsty. I might be cute and kawaii on camera, but in real life I live like a derelict and I never clean. Ever. So I tried to polish things up as quickly as I could before filming. This is in no way at all a wardrobe tour. It's just a very quick me gathering cute things to take photos with. So uh, don't get your hopes up because you're not going to see too much because it's way too messy and I'm sorry. Don't look. Don't look. It's too messy. Oh, what are you doing? Okay, I'm just gonna gather some ingredients for a beautiful photo. Now I'm sure that a lot of you that are watching this you probably have a few pink things lying around. I mean, maybe you don't have much, but I'm sure you have something, right? Maybe you've got some cute pink makeup or, I don't know, pink clothes. Anything. If it's cute, we want to take photos of it and we want to post that shit on Instagram. These are Alex's top 10 tips on how to take a beautiful photo for Instagram. I have my messy little ah. makeup desk here and I'm just gonna pick out a couple of key ingredients. So the first thing that we're gonna to use to take pictures, my kawaii senses are tingling. What do we want? This, not that, this. Japanese makeup, cute Tony Moly panda thing. Some cute, I don't know, what are you? Hello, you are petite bunny glossy bar. Yep, you'll do. Sailor Moon eyeliner, cute. I have some cute blending sponges that I haven't used yet, so that'll do. That's, oh, actually, no. Oh, bye-bye. This. Oh, no, it's dirty. Here, this. That's cute. Yep. Oh, oh, there's a stray bird feather. That's very cute. Blushes. Chuck that in there. What about some of this EOS licky balmy things? Cute, cute, cute. One more, just for safe measure. Cute. What else do we want? Uh... I know. How about we do Pusheen? How about we do you? Because you're really, really cute. We'll add him. And we'll add... Mm -hmm. Ooh, water bottle. Yes. Very cute. Yes. Whenever I do my flat lays, I try to have a nice assortment of things that people can look at and admire from a distance. So I'm going to use makeup. I think I might do a phone case. I might do a cute purse. I'm doing the Pusheen mugs. Um, I feel like a key to a good photo is to create a lot of interest, you know, create some really cute little exciting things, not just makeup. I mean, yes, you can do just makeup in a picture, but I like to do things that everyone will find interesting. Maybe not everyone's interested in makeup, but everyone's interested in pushing, am I right? I've got my little draw. Oh, don't look. Don't look. It's too messy. Uh, cute purse, purse, purse. I know I've got one in here. Ugh. Where are you? Oh, here. Hidden under here. These are cute. Sparkles. Now, all right guys, I'm gonna give you three seconds to work out what the common factor is in all of these things that I'm gathering. Okay, just take a look. Oh, actually, you don't meet the common factor, so you're going. That might be a good hint. What is the common factor? It's a color palette! That's right, I am going with pink, blue, purple, and white. That is my color palette for this particular photo, and I highly, highly recommend that whenever you take a photo for Instagram, you stick to a color palette. Choose your theme and stick with it. None of this nonsense, different colors here and there, unless your theme is rainbow, in which case that is perfectly fine. That's all of our things. So we're gonna gather it up, and then I'm gonna show you a backdrop to use. All right, guys, I am notorious for collecting blankets. And the reason that I do that is because I can buy blankets in many, many different pastel shades, and I use them as backdrops. None of this fancy pants for photographic backdrop Blankets are fine. Fuzzy blankets, fluffy blankets, woven blankets, scratchy blankets. I don't care what's in a blanket. If it's a blanket with a cute color, buy it. Some of these I bought from Target. Some of them are from the baby section in Target. Really, the paler the better. If it's pale blue, pale pink, pale yellow, I don't care. Just buy a bunch of them and use them as backdrops. I have a white 
fluffy blanket. I'm just gonna shoot on my bed because I have a window there and a bed here. So there's a lot of nice light. Yes, that's right, friends. You need good lighting to take a photo. It doesn't matter what sort of camera you use, whether you're using an iPhone 10 or you're using your ex-boyfriend's cracked iPhone 5. Yes, that's right. I live with my ex-boyfriend, deal with it. Or you're using an iPhone 7 or you're using an Android, it doesn't matter. You can use a phone and take a good photo as long as you have good light. We're gonna arrange all of our cute little thingies. We're gonna get our three purses. We're gonna lay them like that. That's, that's totally fine. I don't even need to do anything else to that. That looks nice. Let's get this. And we're gonna put that there for now. Now, I'm sure that the order of this- Yes, Archie, you're a good boy, I know. I'm sure that the order of this is going to change. But for now, we're gonna take our lip balms. Now, here's a pro tip for you guys. Always shoot in uneven numbers. I have four EOS lip balms here. I'm only going to use three because three photographs are a lot nicer than four. Did you know? One, two, and that one, because that one isn't quite the right blue. So I'm gonna put one, two, three. Blushes, now remember what I said photograph in uneven numbers. I have two blushes there. So instead of using three blushes, which is overkill, I'll just use one. So let's go with oop, that one. That's fine. And then we'll use our blending brush, blending boot, whatever you call that. And then we'll use these. Yes. And pushing. Yep. And pushing. All right. That's all of our stuff. You don't need to use exactly the same sort of things. Just along the same line, you know, some interesting things. You might want to use a cup. Oh, that's right, I said I'd use a phone case. Phone case, where phone case? Ah, here. Um, hmm. Unicorn, no. Now, those are from my giveaway. I still have to post them. Sorry, Bailey and Puppy Slime. Um, pastel, pastel, pa oh, that one. That's cute. Yes, that's very cute. Um, Time to do some rearranging. So I'm happy with those sitting where they are because they're catching the light really nicely. I'm going to take Pushing and put him uh, somewhere where he doesn't get a reflection on his face. There, yes. And you know what's cute? Maybe we'll make it look like the lip balms are spilling out of the Pushing. Yep, yeah, that's cute. I'm very sorry about Archie's commentary in the background. So Pushing is... A generous god and he's spilling out lip balms for us. This, now I try not to put pink next to pink, I like to break up the colors a little bit. So I'm gonna put that over here because there's no pink over here, there's blue, there's no pink, so there goes the pink. And this cute little powder can go there. Phone case. Now you want to be careful when you're placing these sort of items because you Archie. Okay. All right. That's it. Come on. Come and join us. Come and join us, friend. Look. Do you want to be in the picture? Wow. Okay. You know what? I don't think this needs the phone case. I'm going to take that out because to me, it was a cute idea, but I feel like that's, that's too boxy and that's boxy, you know, like it's a rectangle and that's a rectangle. So I'm going to get rid of that. Where do I want to put that? You know what? Don't need that either. Okay. We'll just put push in like this. And that's it. We're ready to take our photo. So I'm going to use a phone. Like I said, I'm going to use a very old iPhone 5 with a cracked screen, which belongs to my ex-boyfriend Sam, who Daniel and I live with. But that's a story for another day. So we're going to use this old piece of crap and we're going to take a photo of all of this stuff. So I'm just going to get a laptop and set it up with the screen my Bob recording devicey thing so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to go get my laptop. Please watch Archie for me. It's an Archie You've messed up my flat lay. No, give it back. That was fine where it was. Ah. Okay, I'm gonna take the, fo the photo from directly above, trying to get everything in the shot, just tapping for focus. 
hidden tape. Now I'm using the square camera. Okay. That's really all I need to do. That's it. I'm going to import the photo into Instagram. Now, I took a few. Oh crap, my phone cord is in literally all of them. Okay, I think that's going to be the best one. Edit. This is the fun part. Adjust. I'm just going to spin it around. And I might kind of bring it in a little bit tighter. Archie, don't pull that out. I need that. No, no, no. Oh, you're, you are so naughty. My camera just died. There's only a few things that I ever touch when I edit my photo. You don't need f fancy editing software. You don't necessarily need Photoshop or Lightroom or anything like that. Or VSCO Cam or whatever other stupid apps that people tell you to use. Just use the Instagram editor. That is honestly all you need. So all I'm going to do is brightness. I'm just going to put it up. Wow, look at that. Done. Then contrast. I'm going to bring down the contrast a little bit just to make it a little bit more pastel. I'm going warmth and to me when I look at this photo it looks just the tiniest bit yellow. Do you get that? Like it, it is a white blanket but the blanket looks more on the yellow side than the white side and that is probably because of the lighting. So I'm going to bring the warmth down a bit. Done skip past all of these highlights. Now, I always tend to bring the highlights down a little bit and you watch what that does. Do you see the, the blue powder container? The face, face powder container? If I bring down the highlights, the detail comes back into it. So I'll bring the highlights down to about that point. Now, don't use the exact same numbers as me. See how that's on 63? You don't have to use 63. Just but judge it from what you're looking at. Judge it off your eye. And if your eye is telling you it's a little bit too dark, just hit done and go back to brightness and bring the brightness up again. But because you brought the highlights down, everything else should become a bit brighter in the darker spaces. And then in the lighter spaces, it won't blow out too much. And then something that I always do is sharpen. And then I'll do shadows. I'm gonna bring them up a little bit. Wow, look at that. Look at the difference that, that makes. Now, I feel like it's very hard to see on this stupid screen because Sam dropped his thing a thousand times, <laughs> but I can tell, I feel like it's lacking a little bit of punch, so I might bring that contrast up just a little bit again. Actually, I might go back, to, I'll just go to neutral contrast. Yeah, done. And that's it. Now you watch this. You watch the before and after. Before. After. Before. After. Drab. Fab. Drab. Fab. <laughs> okay, that's it guys. How easy was that? That was honestly too easy. I'm gonna share this on Sam's account. <laughs> oh look, there's one of my photos. I'm gonna like it. Suit up Sam has posted a very cute pastel pink photo. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. Sorry Sam. Now I'm gonna post this on Instagram and I'm actually gonna edit out that chord and if you want to see a video on how I do that sort of thing, just let me know. I can make a video for you about how to do simple editing, like removing chords from the corner of your photo when they shouldn't be there. I can also do a more advanced tutorial if you want, if, for those of you that own DSLR cameras instead of just phones. I can show you all my tips and tricks about how to take a really good photo on your DSLR. If you like this video and you want to see more, maybe like advanced tips and tricks or editing, on Photoshop or anything like that, please let me know in the comment section below. I'm more than happy to make it for you. But for now, this was just a quick and easy, fun little tutorial on how to use the Instagram editor to edit your photos. The takeout from this that I want you to remember, always photograph in uneven numbers if you can. Try to get a good mix of different items. Try to stick to a color scheme. Always remember to sharpen your image. <laughs> That's about it, guys. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Mwah.